in association with the Polish Investment and Trade Agency. Poland, open for business. We know that the mobile health services technology is going to play a big part. It's done a very, it's played a very big role in the financial sector. It's now time to use the mobile health technology um, in our health sector. Enhanced district health information system. Those of you who already know about DHIS2, you know that we have moved quite far from where we used to be in DHIS1. And we need to enhance it so that there is interoperability and exchange of data between both the county and the national, but also between the public and private, so that we get an aggregate data of what the disease conditions are and the situation in our sector, and promoting the use of space technologies. We understand that we don't have the right number of health workforce uh, that is required to meet SDGs, and so we need to increase the number of health workers, that's for sure. We need to train the health workers so that we can focus on filling the gaps. We don't just train the workers that we've been training, but we train the workers that will fill the gap in the market. So training workers fit for purpose, that the industry will be able to absorb, rather than overtraining in certain areas and undertraining in the others. We know that we only have in sub-Saharan Africa, 3% of the health workforce, global health workforce, and yet we have 18% of the world's population and 25% of the disease burden. Kenya has just, le just, just below 50% of the required health workforce in our country. The objective of the big four is to increase the workforce by 50%. We need to produce 18,000 health workers every year in Kenya. If all our colleges were full and everyone had full capacity, we would, not, we would just train less than 9,000. So every year, the gap between our population and health, worker, health workforce is increasing. And if we don't use technology to bridge these services from one to one and make health workers from one to many, it will be really difficult because most of the health workers wish to stay in urban areas. You'll never find specialists who want to go to Mandera or Wajir and be very difficult to convince them to stay there. And yet, the patients in those remote locations have to travel to the urban centers to seek specialized care. Can technology help us? Can we deliver specialized care across counties, making it affordable and more accessible. So with devolution, I think has come responsibility and accountability. The first phase of devolution, I thought was a test curve for Kenya. And to be honest, there was more of politics than action. The time for politics is probably out. The counties now should have a scorecard. We should see what the life expectancy has been, what the child mortality rate has been, what's the infant mortality in every county. We should also look and see the kind of contribution that your health sector has made to the GDP. In association with the Polish Investment and Trade Agency, Poland, open for business.